for 10 terrifying minutes. These passengers knew they wouldn't be making a normal landing. We okay? Yep. That's good. Hitting at two rooftops as their balloon lost height. There goes that guy's uh, handiwork on the house. I know. It finally came down for good at an apartment block in Elwood. Are you okay? I was shaking and crying. We were all shaking a little bit and, <laughs> and we were shoulder to shoulder and just hanging on. Some people got down really low in the basket. I kept my head up because I wanted to see where we were landing. So it was a bit scary. It's a bit embarrassing because it's uh, balloons uh, draping over a building, but uh, at least we put everybody safely on the ground. The flight started in Royal Park. Less than an hour later, the balloon started losing height. That's where we should be. Pilot Nick Brow burned through the fuel, trying to stay aloft. Well, I had a malfunction in one of the valves that releases air from the top of the balloon, so I decided to break away from the rest of the balloons that we were going down towards uh, Moraven, and I was trying to bring it down and safely in the first possible place. The hot air balloon crashed through several tree branches in making this emergency landing, the pilot managing to avoid nearby power lines. Now when he realised something was going wrong, he was aiming for the beach, which is just a couple of hundred metres down the road. I heard all the like, fire engine cops and thought, what's this? And looked out the window, there's a hot air balloon just uh, on the apartments. I just thought, oh my goodness, this is like a movie. It's like a UFO at your window because it just went right across the window. It's not something that happens on a daily basis, let's put it that way. The Australian Transport Safety Bureau is investigating the flight that was supposed to be an 18th birthday celebration for Zoe Dewacky. It was very memorable. Got a really good story to tell now. <laughs> So is this the last time they'll go up, up and away? The kids want to do it again, the wife doesn't. Uh, so I better go up there with the kids. Uh, but first of all, I'll get a Tats Lotto ticket today. Sarah Jane Bell, ABC News, Melbourne.